everybody. Hello. We are the windy, windswept women today. Because it, it's, it's windy, very yeah. windy. We're windy hoping the camera day. doesn't knock over. So we are going to tell you about where we are going this, this uh, next year as far as our craft shows that the two of us do together. And then we're going to show you some of the items that we are going to be highlighting and all of the links to the patterns. And if there's a YouTube tutorial, I'm going to put those down in the um, description box so you all can check out those links if you want to go over and look for yourselves. So I'm going to let Kim get started. Well, I guess first we should tell you where we're going this year. We added one event. Um, we're going to good old days in Littlestown, Pennsylvania. It's like a town-wide um, yard sale, craft fair, vendor type of venue. Festival. Yeah, festival, that's a good word for it. Yeah, and it's held down Community in the main festival. park at the town. So we're going to be doing that in August. And then I'll let you tell the next one. And then the next the, two, actually. And then uh, in the fall, like right in the heart of fall, we'll go to the campground where we went last couple of years and do a space they always have good food so we can't like not go there and, and it's really food. pretty we, sit, we, we, <laughs> yeah, we always get sat woods, behind the stream really and yeah it's a nice nice little place to relax yeah and then the other one will be closer to christmas right at the beginning of december and that's at um a town down in maryland yeah so, outside of frederick and we tend to so. do we did pretty well there yeah um, that was probably our highest earner last year i think yeah, so we're adding one more event this year and see how that works out. So Kim's going to show you. It'll be in the summer. Yeah, I can sell some of my summer things. I'm hopeful. Yeah. So I'm going to show you, have Kim show you what she's working on. Okay. So since it's in the, since we're adding a summer uh, craft event, um, you know, thinking, well, I don't want to sell Christmassy, you know, winter hats in the, in August. <laughs> so, uh, I could use one right now. <laughs> the, the wonders of the internet, I went searching and I found some really neat, actually I didn't have to search much because things show up in my YouTube feed. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. So anyway, I came up with a few things I wanted to focus on for these upcoming events. And the first thing I got right into was making these owls, which you've probably seen in the show and tell. Uh, probably a couple weeks ago or mm -hmm. so. And now you can get a close up. But there's the owl. He's and much bigger than one. Oh, he's got a cute little taily yeah, thing. Tail. Oh, look right there. Yeah. How cute. Um, so he's about the size of a football. Yeah. And, um, or she, whatever it is. Um, and I'm going to make a bunch of these. I really enjoy making them. And they go a little faster than you would think. Um, so, uh, what else can I say about them? So anyway, I've got a couple of them done so far. I'm on my third one. And I just think they'll, they'll probably be one of my cute little sellers this year. We'll see. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm. Okay, and the other thing I saw, and maybe many of you have seen these out there in YouTube land too, because, uh, I've just seems like they're out there quite a bit now but this is a little looks like a potted plant and it's actually a set in a little in a little crocheted pot and it's actually a set of coasters so that you fit four coasters inside the pot and put your drink on them but you can sell them as a set of four coasters and there's the um, basket I've been crocheting for a little while but I think this would be easy enough for beginner possibly a little more experienced beginner and they're just so cute I mean sitting you know a little fake crocheted plant on your coffee table and the conversation piece and so I'm gonna make a bunch of these too and I already out of um, to give you an idea of some a good yarn to get I got this at Michael's it is the um, it looks like yarn lane cream cotton um, 
uh, yeah, cream cotton. And it is in. It's from Loops the, and Threads, isn't it? No, it doesn't say Loops and Thread. Oh. It only says What's Yarn Lane. Right oh, it is a Loops and That's Thread. That's what I thought I saw. It's it. Loops yeah. and Thread. But it is a. Um, it's a recycled cotton. And this color is pumpkin. So with one skein of this. I got 20, what was it, 1, 2, 3, 20, probably got 30, got 30 coasters, I believe that's what it was, because wow. enough to make seven full sets of four, there's hmm. two left over, that's and I have this little ball yardage. left, so that's yeah. about seven sets of coasters from that one skein, so I thought that was pretty economical, and the green part is another recycled cotton by from Michaels and it's another loops and thread yarn lane and it is in a very nice color and it's called sage and I just there was not much at the store so I felt very fortunate to find just you know these two perfect colors and then the the um, beige color is just a um, an acrylic I had in my stash so I figured it I may even do the pots in some different colors not just all the same one hmm. so anyway that I thought that was cute and then the third thing I'm gonna do see if I have it on my phone is these um, African flower I don't know if you can see that but the African flower uh, hide sea turtle so focus on there it, it is. there we go sea turtle and they're not that big they're about well I just finished the back of one the first one and it fits in the palm of my hand so you can imagine in the legs and the head and tail so it, it's something that'll sit in your hand Hmm. And, and kind of go outside your hand, but um, they but they're so such a good stash buster, and I have so many different colors of acrylic that like I shouldn't have any problem with different combinations. So that's what I'm excited about doing, and it's hard to not want to jump in and just go 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 with all the projects, but yeah. we have till August. Yeah, <laughs> you know. we're gonna have lots of little animals and critters yeah. and stuff <laughs> yeah so we found that the reason um, and you'll hear from Katrina too about what she's making but the reason uh, for the Amiga Rami type things is we found those people tend to love to buy those um, yeah. things that aren't scarves and I mean scarves and shawls can be very personal and it's hard to have the right colors that somebody mm -hmm. actually wants when they show up at your stand. I mean, they can sell. We have sold some, but mm -hmm. um, we find that the these fun things tend to sell. Yeah, quickly. especially if there's kids that walk by and it draws them into the booth because they see that, and then the parents come in too. And then mm -hmm. if there's grandparents involved, being a grandparent myself, you know the the urge to get them something when they want it. So it's. Hopefully we can lure in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the stuff I have got, some of this is from last year that did not sell. So some of these are pocketbooks. This is a knitted pocketbook with mm. a handle. Is that real thick? Yeah, this was like actually knitted with that yarn that makes like the ribbon ruffly oh, scarves. It's the ribbon, it's the ribbon yeah, yarn? and then you hold it together and just knitted it. So oh. there is that one. It has sparkles in it, but I don't know how well it'll show up. So we have that. And then we have this. This was a knit crate yarn. So it's all wool and it is lined inside with a pocket. And I just made three pocket books last as far as pocket books go. So then this is just a bucket bag. And I sold a couple of these virus shawls last year. In fact, we had one little girl at the one Christmas one came up and bought 
a brown one, which surprised me. I just had leftover yarn. She bought that one and then she came back and bought the same color in a different style later on in the day. So this one is a virus shawl. I love the colors in this one. Mm -hmm. yep. So um, if it doesn't sell, it might come to live at my house. Hmm. And then I have a couple other, like I said, shawls I did okay on last year, but I'm also going to be making some stuffies too. Um, there's this one, and this has little beads on the ends right there. This is the hitchhiker shawl. And then I have this one. That This is hand dyed. I actually dyed the yarn. And I will never again do this busy of yarn with this busy of a lace pattern because it made my eyes go crazy. <laughs> and thank goodness for doing lifelines in the knitting because I lost my place numerous times and couldn't find it because of the lace pattern. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing those. And then I also have this basket that I made. I did a tutorial for this. So this one is also gonna go up for sale. So yeah, it's a, I mean, it's a good size. And if you wanted to use it as a tote, you could do that too. So we have that. And then you have seen some of the stuffies that I've been doing on my um, weekly Saturday podcast. So I am making some cats and dogs and I'm gonna be making some whales. I wrote down, where did I put my notes? In the back here. I have some notes. Um, we noticed that some of the stuffies that are selling are that fuzzy, sort of like the Velux that Lion Brand sells. And I didn't want to pay the prices that Lion Brand had them for. <laughs> the blanket yard. Yeah, it was pricey. So I happened to go on Dollar Tree. And if you want to check it out, I will put a link down below to Dollar Tree. Um, they are selling, you have to buy it in a, in a case of 12 and it's all one color. Unfortunately, I wish they would have sold a 12, a skein, 12 skeins of mixed colors you would have could, been really good. You could go to Dollar Tree locally, because certain ones have yarn. Some of them have yarn. Yeah, the Chambersburg one sometimes it. has yarn. Mm -hmm. But the one down here. Yeah, have that one. I'll be up in Chambersburg next week. Maybe I'll, yeah. maybe I'll stop by. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, then you can mix and match. Yeah, and I can add some colors, colors to things. What I ended up ordering was 12 skeins because, like I said, you have to buy them by the case. They're dollar twenty-five per skein, and so I mean, which is a decent price. But the thing is, is you cannot. For some reason, they will not ship it to the store and then you pick it up. I don't know if it's oh, because of the they size. Don't do that anymore. So they, used to. they usually do with some stuff, but for some reason, I don't know if it's because it's too bulky or what, but I kept trying to change the Dollar Tree stores around to other ones, thinking I could go someplace else local and pick it up. And it wouldn't do it with any of them. So um, I had to pay shipping, and that was like $20 for the, the two big yeah, things. Yeah, definitely call around <laughs> yeah. and see if they have it. So I have a, I have a big yarn unboxing when it comes in of 24 skeins of wow. lots of yarn. And we priced so, it and yeah. uh, compared to the Bernat blanket yarn, mm -hmm. which was on sale, is on sale in, on Lion Brand or was with mm -hmm. it goes off and off sale, on and off sale. Um, was more than twice as much yeah. in price for the same amount of mm -hmm. yarn, like same yeah. yardage. And I checked Michael's as well. You know, I went online and checked a couple of different places. I checked um, Hobby Lobby. I couldn't find anything equivalent that Hobby Lobby had because the Hobby Lobby is only selling their own yarns right now. So I could not find that even listed where they had something that was like equivalent to that fuzziness. Mm -hmm. So, um, the items I'm going to be making with those, because I'm going to have only gray and white, unless I can find some other, um, I'm making little cats, and there's three different patterns that are out there of little cats, and they're each one's a little different. One is by the Yarn Society. These are all YouTube channels that have tutorials for those, and if you look in the description box, I put the YouTube channel, and then below that, I put the pattern if they have it. Um, so there's Yarn Society, Crafter Frog has one, and Lily the cat, it's uh, the, the YouTube channel is called DIY Fluffies. So that is the cat ones. And then there is a large cat. She calls it a, what does she call it? Loaf cat, because it kind of looks like a loaf of bread. It's just, mm -hmm. it's like a big 
like a fat cat? Yeah, it's like a big giant tube and then it's just got a little face and a tail on it. It's kind of cute. It's so if you go over to the, the YouTube channels and then um, look through their links, there are a lot of free patterns that they have available other than the ones I'm telling you about. They maybe have like a whole page of different little critters they've made that you can get. And then the dog ones that I'm looking at, um, Strawberry Bonnie Crochet, uh, Amy Saigon, Hello Stitches, and Cosmo Crochet Corner. All of those had Ooh, little... Them. Yeah, there's, there's like a huge list. And I also discovered another neat crochet uh, channel. It's called Crochet by Jenna. And that one, um, she actually showed what she had made and how much she had made. She This was like her first craft fair she had gone to because she had mostly sold online, the one video that I watched. And uh, so she was like, you know, it's a nighttime event. I don't know how well I'm going to do. I'm just going to try. And, and she hold, had a whole now bunch of those one little you ones. Link for. Yeah. Now, are yeah. you going to put these links underneath? Yeah, they'll be down in the description okay. box. You because can just click. Jenna and, is spelled differently than what. Yeah, it's not would spelled think. with a J. It's with a G. Yeah, but um, yeah, so she had so, a lot of free patterns as well, and some of them were like smaller amigurumis. So, yeah, I will put the links to all of these down below. And maybe tell them that Katrina sent you there. <laughs> sure. It'll be nice. <laughs> yes. Yes, self-promotion. We're all for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's what we've got going on this next few months. And I don't know if I, I don't know if we even introduced who you were to new viewers. We used to do several videos together like in the summertime and we've been getting together. We just haven't filmed it because we're just too busy having fun and talking and drinking McDonald's sweet tea through the winter yeah. because we <laughs> both like their sweet tea. Oh, we can finally get, get into a restaurant. And yeah, sit. yeah. And they have comfortable chairs at, at our local McDonald's. So yeah, that's, where, that's where we've been hanging out. So anyway, this is my friend Kim mm -hmm. and we... Hello. Yes, and we do craft fairs. If, if you're new to the channel, you haven't met her before, but she's been on here before. Yeah. Just not recently, because... I do work a full-time job, so yeah. I squeeze this in, but I'm an empty nester. Um, so I do. I'm a proofreader and editor for a major company. Um, so, but for fun and for sanity, I love yarn craft, so been doing knitting and crocheting for years it's so. a it's a good stress reliever mm -hmm. yep a lot of fun yep mm -hmm. so that is it for today we thank you all for watching if you haven't already give us a thumbs up and if you haven't clicked that red subscribe button down below please do so because we are three people away from hitting 4300 and Yay. as soon as we do giveaway time and it'll be some yarn of course how so, are your friends yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> so t stay tuned baby who knows saturday maybe we will have a giveaway we'll have to wait and see if we hit that 4300 so that's it for today we'll see you all later bye everybody bye you ready The wind, the wind is going to knock him over. <laughs> Owl down. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll, there we go. Mm -hmm.